Welcome to Movies Recap Channel. Today we're recapping the fantasy comedy movie called The Witches. The movie is about witches scheming to transform children into mice. The young boy who has been transformed into a mouse tells the story. He manages to overcome the main villain, the Grand High Witch, and her fellow witches using his strategy to change them into mice. The strategy succeeds, and the witches are killed. So, let's begin the story. A bunch of kids are looking at pictures while a voice tells them about real witches who hate kids. The voice belongs to our hero, who talks about his life in 1968. He's a boy whose parents die in a car crash, so he goes to live with his grandma in Alabama. His grandma takes him to his mom's old room, and he feels sad and alone there. He doesn't want to eat or play with other kids. His grandma talks to him, saying that sometimes bad things happen for a reason we don't understand, like a lesson from God. This makes the boy feel a bit better, so he eats some cornbread. The next day, his grandma gives him a pet mouse, and he names her Daisy. Over the next few days, the boy starts feeling more comfortable and opens up. He spends time playing with his pet mouse Daisy and teaching her new tricks. Slowly, he gets back to his usual self, dancing with his grandma and having fun. However, there's a strange lady watching them from outside. Suddenly, grandma starts coughing really hard. The next day, they go to the market together. The boy wants to buy nails to build a house for Daisy, but grandma wants him to get safer, though more expensive, nails. While he's getting the nails, grandma coughs again and the lady from earlier approaches the boy. She offers him a candy, and he notices a snake coming out of her sleeve. She reassures him that the snake is friendly. When grandma finds him, she's still coughing and tells him about a challenge online. But then, she realizes something is wrong and agrees they should go home. Back at home, the boy tells grandma about the woman from the store. Grandma knows she's a witch because she saw one when she was young. She had a friend who took candy from a strange woman, and the next day, that friend turned into a chicken. Grandma told everyone about what happened, but no one believed her. They thought the girl had run away. Every day, she would visit her friend in the chicken pen, but she never turned back into a human. Realizing the danger, grandma goes into a locked closet and shows the boy a bunch of healing stuff like herbs, potions, and old books. She even uses a crystal to decide they should leave and stay in a safe hotel. She thinks witches only go after poor people, so she believes a hotel with rich folks is super safe. When they get to the hotel, grandma explains that there are witches all over the place, ruled by one really bad witch called the Grand High Witch. At the hotel, a boy looks sad and mistreated. Then, Grandma starts coughing again as they meet the hotel manager, Mr. Stringer. In the elevator, a bunch of witches led by the Grand High Witch arrive. Mr. Stringer says they can't have pets, and the Grand High Witch asks about mice. That night, Grandma coughs again and says witches are causing it. She explains that witches aren't women, they're demons. You can tell them apart because they wear makeup, have big nose holes, wear gloves and long sleeves to hide their claws, heels to hide their weird feet, and wigs to cover their bald heads. Grandma tells the boy that the witches can't hurt them because they don't know where they are. They go to sleep, but Hades, someone watching, rushes to tell the Grand High Witch where they are. The next morning, the boy orders a big breakfast for his grandma through room service. She's still coughing and suggests he go to the beach or find things to do. She makes a joke about sea snakes, scaring him a bit. He decides not to go to the beach and ends up wandering around the hotel. He accidentally enters a room where a kid's meeting is supposed to happen and meets a boy named Bruno he waved at earlier. Bruno's really hungry and has been promised chocolate by a lady in the room. Bruno's mom comes and takes him away, but the boy stays to train his mouse. While setting up, he hides under a stage when the hotel manager, Mr. Stringer, leads the Grand High Witch and her group into the room. They lock themselves inside. The Grand High Witch smells something strange and tells the witches to take off their disguises, revealing their scary looks. She gets angry at them for not succeeding in finding and hurting children. When a witch questions her plan, the Grand High Witch kills her and explains her evil plan. The witches will open candy stores selling special candy that turns kids into mice. The plan is to squash or kill these mice kids. The mean Grand High Witch tells how she got a boy named Bruno to come for chocolate to show her plan. She smells a child hiding under a stage but doesn't find anyone when she looks. Just as she's about to check a vent, Bruno shows up asking for his chocolate. The witch, in her normal look again, tricks him with the promise of chocolate, but Bruno turns into a mouse before her eyes. She tells her friends to squash him. Bruno meets Daisy, the talking mouse, and they hide together. Daisy accidentally leads the witch to the boy. She pulls him out, but he doesn't want to open his mouth. The witch forces a 
serum into his ear, turning him into a mouse. The boy escapes with Daisy and Bruno, and the witch's hands get hurt in a fan. Daisy explains that witches turn kids into mice to hurt them easier. She was a human too, once. The boy plans to go to his grandma's room, using a shortcut. They climb up to ring the doorbell. The boy talks to his grandma, telling her what happened. She realizes he met the Grand High Witch, and so did the other mice. Daisy, who used to be Mary, tells how she ran away from an orphanage, took candy from a stranger, and became a mouse a year ago. The boy tells his grandma about the Grand High Witch's plan to hurt kids. Grandma agrees to protect the mice from people who might try to hurt them. The hotel maintenance puts rat traps with yummy cheese around the room. Bruno struggles not to eat the cheese. Grandma thinks if she had some of the serum, she could make a cure. They come up with a plan to sneak into the Grand High Witch's room while she's at dinner. From their balcony, they watch her hide the potion in an ice bucket in her room. The boy sneaks down, climbs onto a table, and steals a potion. The Grand High Witch returns with Hades and talks about money. The boy gets back to the balcony safely. The Grand High Witch remembers seeing Grandma before. She gets interrupted by Mr. Stringer, who brings a carrier for Hades. The boy's safe. They try to make a cure from the potion, but it doesn't work. The mice might not become human again. Grandma's sad, but the boy doesn't mind. He asks if Grandma will still take care of them as mice. She promises to always take care of him and his friends, no matter how they look. Daisy is sure they can still beat the witches even if they're mice. The boy has a plan to put the potion in the witch's pea soup to turn them into mice and save kids. They get the mice and potion into the kitchen vents with Grandma's help. The boy adds the whole potion to the pea soup, but a chef spots the boy mouse and calls an exterminator. In the lobby, Bruno shows Grandma his parents, so she talks to them. She tells them Bruno is a mouse now, but they're too scared to listen. The boy comes back with all three mice hiding in Grandma's bag. They watch the witches get the soup. Mr. Stringer talks to Grandma and asks if she's hiding mice. She denies it and points out the rat traps in the hotel. He gives her a good table in the restaurant. Grandma sits near the kitchen to watch the witches. The Grand High Witch remembers who Grandma is and talks about turning her friend into a chicken. The witches suddenly turn into ugly rats, one after another. The mice notice this happening and the boy takes the key from the Grand High Witch's pocket as everything gets crazy in the restaurant. Grandma and the mice go into the Grand High Witch's room, which is number 666. They find lots of the mouse potion, and Grandma wants to take it. Some bottles fall and the mice go to get them, but the Grand High Witch comes back. She threatens to hurt Grandma badly, but the mice set traps on her feet and make her drink the potion. The witch becomes a gross rat. The rat witch chases the mice around the room, but Grandma traps her in a glass container with books. The boy finds a key in the witch's stuff and gives it to Grandma. She opens a trunk with a lot of money and a book with the names of all the witches in the world. They want to find and turn them all into rats. Grandma goes to the balcony, lets Hades go, and leaves. Hades knocks the witch's container over, letting her out, and then Hades kills her. The next day, Grandma and the mice leave the hotel. Grandma is really happy and gives the hotel staff money from the witch's stash. She talks talks to Bruno's mom, and Bruno explains he's a mouse now. His parents don't like it, so Bruno stays with Grandma, the boy, and Daisy. The mice ride a fun roller coaster around the house. The boy tells Grandma he still feels like a boy even though he's a mouse. Grandma tells him to always stay true to himself. She still thinks of him as her grandson, not just a mouse. The boy asks how long mice live, and they know it's not long. But they decide to enjoy their time together as a happy family. During Christmas, the mice have a fun dance party with Grandma. A slideshow shows the adventures they had over the next year. Years. They even get a trailer that says, Witch Hunters, on it. The story comes back to our hero, now an older mouse, and the slideshow that started everything. They've beaten the witches in the United States and want to help kids all over the world. The kids watching the slideshow are the new witch hunters. Each has a name to find and defeat using the mouse potion. The kids are excited about this mission. Grandma asks our hero if he's ready, and he says he's never been more ready. She's proud as the kids leave to fight the witches. The story ends there.